I'm not going to spend the five minutes or the 20 minutes later to edit this. I just, I know that this was a good little clip or a good photo, and I want to be able to just say this one, as soon as I'm connected somewhere, somehow, I just want that to get up to my Facebook page or my Shutterfly page or wherever. Um, the other thing is thinking more and more about where are these uh, photos going to be shared from. There are a set of users out there who want to be able to share not only maybe right the day that they get back from their vacation, but maybe while they're on their vacation, maybe while they're on their road trip. So thinking about the increasing prevalence of connectivity in general and the ability of people to get connected to things, wouldn't it be nice if I could, uh, you know, while I'm on my road trip, I can swing into McDonald's while I'm ordering my Coke, I can turn on my camera and my photos upload, the, that day's photos upload right there and then. Uh, and we're doing things like that now. And the last piece that I think we're thinking about long term uh, within the context of these changes is where do I want to share these photos to or save these photos to? And today, of course, the answer is everyone wants their photos or, and videos to go to their laptop or their computer, if for no other reason than just storage. Maybe they also want them to go to the web, but over time, I think we're going to want to be able to see them on our televisions, which are becoming more and more connected. We're going to want to be able to see them on set-top boxes or maybe those you know, fancy storage boxes, these uh, network-attached storage devices that might be in, in the closet. And so for us, it's about how do we create a system that allows the, that busy mom or whomever in her family is responsible for this uh, to get those photos to all of the places they want them to go, not just to the computer or to the web. Uh, Lisa? Uh, so being a Web 2.0 application, we already have the great benefit of being kind of the whole point of two, Web 2.0 is to be where you are. So bring that information to me. Don't make me go find it somewhere. So we are where these busy moms are for the most part. We are in Facebook. We are in Flickr. Um, we have a really robust website which pulls images from wherever they might be storing them and can turn around and push them back out to all these places. But as things are evolving, mobile is becoming much more important because you don't always have your camera with you. Sorry. But you always have your phone with you for the most part. And um, with, the, with the quality level increasing all the time, that's becoming more and more important. So we need to make sure that Picnic is where she's going, which is more and more to her mobile device. That's becoming kind of her PC on the go. Mm -hmm. So how do we make sure that she has all those great capabilities? So if she takes that picture in that moment wants to share it right away, but can, she can edit it then right there on the fly, do all the great things that she can do in Picnic, and then push it right out right in that moment. And again, you're looking at browser-based versus app, or no? Well, I think we're... Uh, Picnic being picnic, we're going to make sure that we do it the picnic way and yeah. make sure that's easy and light and fun. Mm -hmm. um, we call it phototainment because mm -hmm. in picnic it's not, oh, I have to edit my photos. It's, yay, I can edit my photos. <laughs> and we want to make sure that whatever solution we pursue, mm -hmm. we want to make sure it is it mirrors that so that mm -hmm. when you're on your mobile phone it's not hard and difficult, right. um, that it's still very light and fun and easy. So we're still exploring which way that right way to go is there. Okay. Jennifer? Um, so at the print shop at Encore, um, we're definitely seeing a convergence between online and offline technologies. So traditionally, desktop publishing has been a desktop application. It's definitely software. Uh, but we do know that people want to you know, work with online photos. They want to uh, share their projects. They want to print to printers that may not be in their house. It may be at a retail location. Um, so we definitely see that as a, as a, as a process that, that is happening. We're starting to move in that direction today. You can output um, your projects in high resolution uh, JPEGs. We do 300 DPI so that you can physically take your projects and get them professionally printed, uh, be it your photo calendars or uh, your holiday card, as you mentioned. Um, we are also integrating uh, with some partners. So we have a partnership with Smilebox where you can uh, launch the Smilebox application right inside the Print Shop 2.0 and get the great technology that Smilebox has created. Mm -hmm. Susan? Great. I think if you look ahead at the, the trends over the, ne the next two years, um, the challenge related to moms specifically is to, um, to we're going to have to be more flexible, and it's that flexibility to address you know, the variety of ch channels that they want to output through, the variety of methods. You want to be able to match motivation and occasion. Occasion is very, very important for moms and drives the bulk of sharing and preserving scenarios. They're, they're a little bit less about casual on the spot, but they're very much about birthdays and milestones and holidays, Mother's Day, things like that. Um, but it, in a minimum time to achieve it, but it all has to stay simple and personal. And there's sort of three key trends that we see. Um, one is we see people continuing to want to add diverse content types to tell their story. And so one that we hear about uh, from our Smilebox customers is audio. Being able to add your voiceover from your eight-year-old daughter to your grandmother on her birthday over the photos and wish her happy birthday to add those kinds of uh, content. 
Another core trend is mobility, which uh, Lisa mentioned, um, both to receive on all the different devices and Smallbox is thinking about also that create and share and, and you know what does that look like on an iPhone. So mobility is something that, that we're thinking about very much and trying to think about what should that experience be that it stays very simple and I think we're all agreed on, on, on how, where that bar is and how simple it has to be. And then the third trend is the interconnected home. So more and more homes have, um, you know, maybe watching content over their um, flat screen TV, which is tied to their Xbox, or they may have a home server and a television. You know, how do all these devices that are interconnected in the home, there's a lot of complexity there for families anyway. The mom is generally not the person who sets that all up. And, um, you know, so in terms of consuming, uh, the content or the projects you've created, Smilebox, like being able to see it over your TV. Uh, in, you know, right now you burn a DVD and you put it in your DVD player, but what is that scenario going to look like going forward with an interconnected home? So th those are kind of the three trends we're thinking of. Great, Jerry. What do you see? What, what forces are <coughs> going to come to bear to change things for you? Um, well, I think the other speakers have covered uh, many of the trends quite well already. Um, uh, some of the speakers have mentioned uh, the different devices, uh, where people, uh, or d different platforms where people want to do their editing, uh, online, offline, phones, cameras, uh, desktop PC software. Uh, Muvi has been doing all of those uh, for several years. We have an online editing site. We've been in mobile phones uh, since, I think, starting around five years ago. Uh, we're, uh, we have our software in, in cameras by Nikon, and of course we have our, our flagship PC software. Uh, we see uh, more of an ecosystem. Uh, people actually want to use all of those, uh, all of those methods of producing, um, and which one they use at any given time depends really on on the occasion. Uh, for uh, very sophisticated productions, really PC software is the way to go. Uh, you have the much better responsiveness if, if you're on the PC, uh, full, uh, more full. Uh, uh, feature set, uh, the online and offerings and phone ones and uh, software built into cameras tends to be more limited. Um, I think in, in uh, the not too distant future, you'll see uh, a lot more software that kind of blurs the lines between online and offline software. That is, um, you'll use the software from a PC and some of the work, some of the editing work uh, will be done on your uh, on your computer, but some of it will also be done offline. Uh, you might have seamless transfer of your media from the PC to the servers and, and vice versa. Uh, so that's definitely coming along. Um, and we've talked about uh, ways of sharing uh, the media. Again, that's something where Muvi has been across all the different ways of sharing for years, and uh, the, the, the trends shift. Um, you know, we have DVDs, uh, we've been doing DVD burning for years, uh, you know, saving to iPods, uh, uh, uploading to uh, social network sites. Um, one of the new features that we have is uploading directly to MuView, uh, uploading from MuVi Reveal to YouTube, which is uh, proving to be a very popular feature. Um, let's see, um, I'm rambling a little bit here, I apologize for that. <laughs> Um, we can come uh, back to and, and yeah, just uh, other other trends for the future to to watch out for. Of course, we have uh, more and more devices for capturing uh, images and video to begin with, and uh, those devices now capture a lot more metadata, and that's something that we can use. Um, it, um, you know, for example, geographical data embedded into pictures, um, we can do things with that automatically, um, which um, uh, you know, for for example, if you have pictures that have geographical data, you could uh, make a, a, a production automatically that shows those pictures on a map mm -hmm. and also grab, you could also grab other pictures from Flickr that has similar geographical data. So suppose you're in Paris and you have a picture of yourself in Paris but you never actually got a good shot of the Eiffel Tower. Well, you can pull that automatically from Flickr. Mm -hmm. It's quite exciting. Anyhow. Uh, Great. And, and finally, Neil, if you can just sort of wrap up, you know, some of the market forces that you've seen over the next couple of years impacting the sharing space. You bet. Um, probably three of them that I'll, that I'll mention. I think number one is just volume. Um,